We begin tonight with Nicole Ford. She's been talking to teachers who've been getting their vaccine thanks to Giant Eagle and the Steelers. Nicole. Kim, we're at Heinz Field, this room buzzing with excitement. For one, these educators behind me have the opportunity to get vaccinated, but also they're just happy to see each other as this month marks nearly a year since many of them have been inside the classroom. One by one, hundreds headed into the stadium. Welcome to the Giant Eagle, Heinz Field, and Pittsburgh Steelers vaccination clinic but not for a game. I just want to make sure what I do my part so the kids can come back and see us. These Pittsburgh public educators rolled up their sleeves in the hope of getting back to normal. You know, a high five in the hallway. You know, kids always want to run up and give you a hug, give them a little side hug. You know, just missing them. You know, that's what you get into it for and just they're not there and it's a huge difference. On Thursday, Giant Eagle vaccinated about 30% of PPS's staff. It's part of a federal push to get kids back in the classroom. For these teachers, that's happening April 6th. We know they want to be back with their students, but they have concerns, um, and, and rightfully so. But also, hopefully this eases and adds another le level of mitigation strategy for us that'll help. Well, Hamlet tells me he's hopefully optimistic about the return to school. I still have reservations about going back because this is unknown. We don't know what's happening. We don't know the... Um, result how the shots going to affect people or even how well it's going to take you know so it's a, it's a new normal but we have to adjust but despite these reservations the staff tell me they got the shot for the kids come april 6 i'm looking forward to seeing the kids i'm, I'm looking forward to having a, a little bit of normalcy put back into our lives it doesn't stop here. Giant Eagle tells me it will open more appointments tomorrow for a vaccine clinic on Monday and Tuesday for any educator across Western Pennsylvania. Now, as for the rest of Pittsburgh public staff, they had the opportunity to get vaccinated with the state's J&J &J initiative. 